The biggest thing we're working on is the quality of the ice. If it's good ice and it's good fast ice, it's a good fast game. There's a lot of factors that go into making a good sheet of ice. Humidity is a killer. He's got to try and figure out how to reduce that humidity out of the air. It would be like skating on a gravel road, you know, kind of jaggedy or <sighs> he's serious about it. With all the salaries of both teams that are skating out there, it's a lot of money. We're serious about it. They can get hurt if we're not doing our job right. In our building, one of the challenges has been getting good data. We had information, but we didn't have it right there at our fingertips and we didn't have it all combined in one spot. It was just really hard to get the data in a spot where people could understand it. It just didn't have the flexibility to be able to drag and drop and move things around and really hone in in specific places. Now I can, from home, grab my iPad and really understand what's going on in the building because we put a monitor out on the Zamboni tunnel all of his ice technicians can see that and see what's going on. When they go resurface in between periods, they can look at it at a glance and say, all right, I know what I need to do. With the analytics, you end up finding something that you didn't know you were looking for, and that becomes an important part of your process. I've got it on my phone, I've got it on my iPad. This is a rather large and complex facility. Every event has very different energy demands. A hockey arena, a convention center, a historic auditorium, all connected together. My Zamboni room is uh, storage for the concerts. We have a very large annual conference that comes here every year. And you pretty much have to be on standby with temperature. Electricity, natural gas, heating and cooling system. We can look in one spot, it's all there. And when you collect enough of that data, you start to be able to understand what the trend is between what a good day and a bad day looks like. So there's a lot of different energy meters and a lot of different usage patterns. We're at a point now where we can see, oh, that overlays with Lady Gaga. It's been a real conversation starter in the building. It brings questions up that we can discuss. They see a big spike in the heating loop. This huge spike that nobody knew was there. When they're like, what's going on? I went down to Travis and I said, Travis, what's that red line? It takes hot water to make ice for the Zamboni. That was old hat to him, but it's insightful for me. Only the people directly involved with making ice would have known that before. It was a nice kind of completion of that loop for me. People in management have learned more about the way the building operates as a result. I think the biggest benefit is that it allows for great conversations.